Hello, I'm Julia Pell Davis, I'm 11 years old and I'm in Grade 5 at Goulburn Street Primary School. For the 2015 Robo Girls Science Challenge, I will be showing you how to build a mousetrap car and I'll be testing it on three different surfaces, carpet, wood and paper. And then I'm going to compare the surface effects, the distance that the mousetrap car travels. For this mousetrap car you will need one hot glue gun, one piece of wood, two sets of wheels, two big and two small, two wooden rods for the axles, one piece of string or thin rope, a pencil and a ruler, one pair of scissors, four small eyelets, one balloon, and the most important thing, the mouse trap. multiple trials on each surface and eliminating the ones that hit walls or other things went wrong we had three clear results for each surface. On average we had 5.24 meters for wood, 3.83 meters for carpet and 5.04 meters for paper. To work these averages out I added them together then divided it by 3. From these results, we can clearly work out that carpet has more friction than wood or paper. I found it interesting that when the longest metres that the mouse truck car travelled was 6.02 metres, and that was on paper. Wouldn't the paper have less friction than the carpet? Because they are more even surfaces, so the car travelled further. I tried to distinguish between wood and paper, but I couldn't as the results were too close and the sample size wasn't very big. From this project, I have learned about friction and traction and how they affect how vehicles move. I have participated in the Robo Gal Science Challenge because I really like science and engineering, and this competition is a great way to share my passion with others. Other girls should enter the this competition because it's a really fun way to explore the wonders of science and develop their passion for science.